G'day everyone, Master Rabbit back for another Game & Watch gameplay and unboxing video. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through the second Game & Watch in the Gold series, which will be called Helmet, which is not what we call, which is called Helmet. Uh, so let me grab that and put that up in front of the screen so everyone can take a quick look. Alright, so this one is Helmet. Now, Helmet is of course the second Game & Watch in the uh, gold Game & Watch series of Nintendo. As you can see here, I'll just bring it up on the screen, the um, serial number, if you want to call it model number, is CN07. Alright, so Game & Watch, um, the helmet Game & Watch also has an alarm, as you can see there. This is the, like I said, this is the second um, second series of Game & Watches. Now, um, helmet was basically also known as headache in the United Kingdom. So it was called Helmet, of course, as the original name, and then Headache in the United Kingdom. Now, um, he Helmet was basically created um, on or released um, on the, um, the 21st of February 1981. Okay, and as mentioned, it's the Gold Series. Okay, so that one there is Helmet. So we're going to be doing a gameplay and unboxing video for this one, and we'll get stuck We'll get, we'll get right into it, I guess. So we'll open this up now. While I'm doing that, I'll give you a brief rundown. Um, as always, the box, I'll show you the box as well, because everyone wants to see the box um, from all different angles. All right, so, uh, and always, there's always a serial number which should match the um, game and watch when you open it up and look at the back for the serial number. Sometimes they don't, but um, I try and get all of them that match with mine. Um, and as always, this one, he's got a little bit of a scratch there, or a little bit of a rip, um, and also had an original price there too. All right, so that is that. Um, let's get this out of its box. Now, just to give you a quick rundown as well while we're going through um, the Game & Watches, as always. Um, the Game & Watches were released in, um, by Nintendo between 1980 and 1991, and they sold approximately um, over 40, I believe it was about 43 million units worldwide. Um, now, as always, the Game & Watches were developed by game designer Gunpei Yokoi, um, which was Nintendo's um, game designer. So basically, um, here we go, have a quick look at the foam while I'm also talking. I know sometimes this gets gets a bit boring, but as always, you can see um, with the Game & Watch, this one here is the gold series, so you can see the metal is a brushed gold color, okay? And as I was mentioning before, this is, uh, that was the serial number as well, and looking at here is the model number, CN07. Of course, there's the rating of the power and battery made by Nintendo, of course, and that's it. Now, as always, as with the newer Game & Watches, there's also that little um, stand, as you can put, put it here while I'm doing everything else, and that sits nice and comfortably, um, and that's sometimes you can leave that on your uh, bedside stand when the alarm goes off and everything like that, and I'll show you, I'll show you how that works. So that's the foam, I was actually showing you the foam as well. Okay, and as always, the Nintendo Game & Watches were part of a, um, basically they, they had a 4-bit uh, a CPU and uh, a Sharp SM5X family, PC, if you want to call it uh, base family computer thing, and ROM and RAM, uh, and also the LCD screen and circuit drives. So that was pretty much how they were all pretty much manufactured. Uh, now this is the original um, Game & Watch instruction manual. As always, I like to go through this and show everybody what it looks like. Of course, it's in Japanese. So anyone who wants to have a quick look, please feel free to uh, pause and look at each um, of the information that's on these pages. And now this is the, uh, of course, the information screen, which has everything that you need to well, that, everything that you might want to know. Of course, there's an AM and PM time. Uh, there's the misses, there's the alarm, Mr. Alarm, and also the Mr. Game & Watch playing, and also all the little items that appear on the screen. Of course, there's the ACL, there's the alarm, the game A, game B, and time. And I'll make sure that I explain all these once we move forward. Now, as you can see, these are all the instructions in Japanese, which what everything means. And you can see it's quite simple, pretty straightforward. And then this one here is when you press the ACL button, uh, that is like the reset button, and you'll see that when I put the batteries in. You'll see that there is um, all the different animations that you can see when you put the reset button, or uh, when you put when you press the ACL, or when you put the batteries in for the first time. All right, so here is also the alarm, 
with uh, with all the new Game & Watches moving forward after the first series, which were the silver, now as we are moving into the gold, uh, all the Game & Watches have an alarm, and the alarm can be set, and I'll show you how that works. And uh, that is the alarm for this Game & Watches, um, the helmet alarm, Mr. Game & Watch, and that I'll show you how that was set up. Now with the Game A, as always, it's a little bit slower, and things move a bit quicker. And in this game with helmet, um, you need to make your way from one side of the, uh, what do you want to call it, like construction site, to the other side of the construction site. And by doing that, um, you have an, a door to go through. And that door in game A is, a little, uh, is open for a bit longer than game B. Now with game A as well, um, I think if I can spot it somewhere, here, there it is, uh, from there, 200 to 500. So what happens is when you do miss your... Uh, you do get three misses and get three chances. Once you get to two, 200 and 500, your misses get cleared, and you can start again. And you and you you basically have like reset your lives. So therefore, you if you had two lives uh, that you've lost, you'll be able to get them back. Um, and the highest score you can get in this game is 999. With game B, um, the game runs a bit quicker, and what happens is as well. Uh, the door stays open for a shorter p amount of time. Here is the batteries and how you put the batteries in. Of course, it's very simple. You take out the clasp, put the batteries in, close the clasp again. And here is the best way you can actually play the game. Of course, at a best is a, at a 40, 40, 45, 40 degree angle, so you don't get too much glare. You'll see it when we play the game. Okay, and that is the information once again for helmet. Right there. And that's it. And uh, then, of course, there are some uh, promotional video, uh, promotional things. Um, these are the ones we've already seen before. Vermin, Fire, Judge, and Manhole. Okay, so that is the instruction manual. Now, I'll take that back out and I'll get the batteries out so we can start playing. So, as I was mentioning before, uh, Helmet was released um, with pretty good reception, actually. Uh, if I, if I double-check it, I believe it was showing that... Uh, it sold approximately over 1 million units uh, for, for Helmet, which is great uh, for when it was released. Of course, it was released in February 21st, 1981. Okay, so now what, what I'm going to do is I'll put the batteries in and I'll show you what the reset screen looks like. We'll set up the time and also set up the alarm. And I'll show you how that alarm works when we actually get it working first and then we can play a game. All right, so I'm going to put the batteries in. As always, just take out the clasp put the batteries in and you'll hear a little click okay flip it around and there it is okay so that is all the animation you can see when you're playing the game so what I'll do is I'll quickly come in I might uh, it's a bit not very hard to see but you can see everything here on the screen you've got the AM uh, which is of course resetting at 12 o'clock midnight then you've got the misses up the top you've got the mister Mr. Game & Watch Alarm, which is a helmet, uh, Game & Watch Alarm Man, and then you've got all the little Game & Watch, Mr. Game & Watch uh, helmet animations moving across. Now, as you can see there, he starts on the left, and he's got to make his way all the way to the right. Now, on the right, of course, is the workshed, and he's got to make his way into the workshed. That door sometimes is closed, therefore you've got to um, maneuver yourself in between the um, falling... Um, tools as you can see there's a hammer bucket wrench screwdriver and uh, pliers so I'll explain as well what the points score and how that works as well as you can see you've got game A on this side game B on that side and that is it so what we'll do is we'll set up the time quickly so at the moment we'll make it like let's say we'll make it five o'clock in the morning make it five oh five oh five okay so once you set that what you got to do and you're, you're happy with everything you just have to press time Okay. Now, once as always, when you press time, uh, you can see that the the game and watch will then play on its own. And as you can see, you can, you can see little Mr. Game and Watch is running through, uh, and he just got hit as well. So you can see that the door opens. Now, um, if the door is not open, what you've got to do is you've got to try and um, maneuver yourself around the falling um, tools so you don't get hit, and then wait for the door to open. Now, as I'll, uh, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll actually show you how to set up the alarm. So once we'll see everything, I'll do everything and explain things at the same time. Now, if I press ACL, I've got a little screwdriver here. Uh, if you press ACL, that'll reset what you've just seen. If I press alarm, okay, let me just press that now. Okay, so now you've got the alarm settings. Now, it was 5.05, so if we wanted to, we can make... Um, 
Make that alarm at 50, make it 5 go off at 506. Okay. And then what we do, all we gotta do is press time. Okay. Now I'm not sure if that actually it might might actually go off already now because it might not because so it's already 506. Let's uh let's fix that up, make it 507. Okay, now let's make that 507 and then press time again. Okay, so to see how and what time the alarm will go off, all you've got to do is press time again. Hold up, hold on to the time. There you go. And you can see that it's going to go off at 507 a.m. Let it, let the button go, uh, the time button go, and you'll see it's showing 506, which is the time right now. Okay, now of course it's not the time right now, but it's, that's how it works. So pressing the time will show you when the alarm will go off. Okay, so while that's happening, I'll just keep that on the screen and you can actually see everything else that's going on. And as I was mentioning before, um, the helmet was released also in the UK and it was also called Headache. Okay, and I've already explained, I've already mentioned that it's um, pretty much released in February 21st, 1981. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll wait for the alarm to go off, which it should be going off right now actually. And it doesn't seem to be doing it. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Yeah, bit, bit weird. Should be going off. And it's not. Let's see if we can fix that right now. So let me do that one more time. Okay, so the alarm is there. Uh, and if I made it six, seven, I'll make it back to eight a.m. again, five, and we'll make it five a.m., five oh eight a.m., and then if we're happy with it, we'll press time. All right. Now, as I was mentioning before, you've got to press the the the, the alarm, or the time again, and you'll see that the there you go. Okay. I do not want. Maybe I must have pressed the time. When it was jumping, when it jumped in, so I, I, that's my mistake, and I apologise for that. And I, I probably wasted everyone's time for about a minute, <laughs> so I apologise. As you can see, that's the alarm going off. I'll bring it in closer so you can see Mister Game and Watch playing with the alarm right there. Okay, and that will go off for a certain, a certain amount of time. But if you don't want to hear it anymore, as I basically probably already did prior, was press time, and that will take it off. So that's basically what, that's what, what I might have done. So I apologize for that. So anyway, without further ado, let's play the game. Now we'll play game A first, okay? And I've, I've already mentioned how the game works, so I'll explain, I'll explain it while I'm playing. So by pressing game A, you start off in a little safe area there. Now as you can see, um, after a certain amount of time, you'll be kicked out of that area, just as you saw now. So as I was explaining before, uh, the, the door over there is open right now, and I can jump through. But if I want to like test my skill, I can actually start dodging all the stuff that's dropping down at the same time. But I've got to be careful not to get hit. So the door is open right now. Let's see if we can run through. Okay, so when I run through, I actually get five points for running through, and then I get... There you go, did it again. Now I, I get uh, one point. I get one point for every three items that fall, or pieces of heart, pieces of tools, or hardware that fall, while I'm waiting outside. There you go. So I just got through again. So that's five points. So it's not too hard. And what happens is, if you um, stay out for too long, the items that are falling, the hardware that, or the tools that are falling from the sky, appear more and more. Okay, so I've got to be careful to dodge and got through. Whoop. And you've got to be careful. Whoop, there you go. So if you get hit, you fall to the ground and you reset from the start on the left hand side. And you've got to make your way all the way to the right. Now, in game A, of course, it's a little bit easier, it's a bit slower. Whoop, now I'm going to get stuck. Whoop, I saved myself. I got through the door just in time. Now, as I was mentioned before, the door in game A stays open for a bit longer than game B. So as you can see, oh, just missed it. Now, while you're outside, the items that fall uh, come out, uh, come, fall down a lot. So basically, it is recommended to try and get yourself inside as soon as possible, and then the items will kind of slow down a bit. But if you stay outside for too long, the items will keep coming down, and it'll be harder to get out of the way. So you've got to do your best to move out of the way, and if there's too many coming out on one spot, you're going to be in big trouble. 
So I'm going to make my way in. And that's it. So as I mentioned before, you can stay in the safe area for a little bit of time, but then you get kicked out of that automatically. And as you can see there, the door's open, but I didn't make it in time. So that's pretty much it. So you've got to be careful not to get hit. Now I'm going to get done. Oh, pretty good. You, you do have a lot of, you do have a certain amount of time, like a certain amount of short time before you can, um, there you go, got a couple through and pretty, pretty quickly. You do have a short amount of time between dodging between the items as you saw now. There you go. Just like that. So you know that you've got a bit of time to maneuver and, but in game B it does get a bit harder. And as you can see, all the, like a lot of those tools are coming down and you get three points for every piece of item that falls down from the sky. So this is game A, and it's not too complicated. As you can see, I'm already up to 126. Um, so it's not too hard. Game B, you'll see it'll be a bit harder, and the door will stay open for a short, shorter amount of time. There you go, making my way through. Now, if I did make it to 200, hopefully as mentioned in the instructions, that you do reset your miss score as well. Oh, might not make it in time. So, as I, as I was mentioning, this is only a short gameplay. I'm not going to be playing this forever. But as you can see, not too hard. It's a quite a fun game. And it's not too complicated at all. It's quite easy to play. And, and it's mainly just more like about dodging and moving out of the way and getting to one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. So, and pretty much this one here, the construction worker, Mr. Game & Watch, has to make him, so, make him go from one side of the screen um, um, ground to the other side of the ground so pretty much it's going back into the tool shed and starting from the factory on the outside there now we're gonna make we hopefully might make it to um no unfortunately I didn't okay so that's it so that is three misses and the game is over now once you're finished and you don't want to play anymore all you've got to do is press time as always and it will go back into game uh, just it's like normal demo gameplay okay so what we'll do now is we'll play game B no difference, just a bit quicker, and the door will stay open for a shorter amount of time. See, as you saw that door, it opened up and closed pretty quick. And I, I got in pretty quickly too, which is good. And um, But do remember that you do have the the tools that fall, fall down pretty fast. Um, but they do, res they do like slow down as well once you go through that door. So the, 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 the point of the game, of, of course, as well is try and get through as quickly as possible so then all the items that are up on the screen, that are appearing on the screen, get less. Okay, so, so far, not a problem. <laughs> I'm doing my best and I'm getting there. Um, but you just have to remember the door for game B appears and opens only for a short amount of time. And during that time, then a lot of this, uh, the tools do drop from the sky. Um, but if you can get yourself in, like I'm doing right now, which I'm playing quite well, um, you won't get hit. But you've got to be quick. I could have actually gone through there and I went back. But while, while, by actually dodging, as I mentioned, every three items that fall... Oh, just died. Got hit. Lost a man. And you just got to be careful, because as, as you saw... Uh, the dodging is quite tricky. You've got to be there. You've got to get out. Got to dodge between them quite well. Um, and you don't have too much time to do it. As you can see, when there's more time between them... Whoop, going through. <laughs> it's probably best to go forward, not to go backwards. Um, so you do, have a, you do have a certain amount of time, like a, a few seconds between each item when it drops before going... Uh, be, be, be moving between the items, which is quite hard, tricky, but that's where that's where this game, this way, that's where helmet shines, I guess. See, the point of this one is dodging between the tools. Oh, I don't know what I just did there. Anyway, yeah, dodge, dodging between the tools is the most important part, um, and that's the skillful part of the game, I guess. Oh, I missed it. But yep, dodging between. That's what I basically was mentioning. Dodging between the tools is what's going to make this game really popular. Oh, what well, was pretty popular. But missed it. There you go. So just dodging at the right time will get you through. All right. So let's see. We'll just make it to the end. I Hopefully, just showing you how to dodge. There you go. Pretty good. As you can see, the game plays a bit faster. 
More so, the most important part is, of course, the door. The door does not last, does not stay open for too long. And, um, but the most, as I said, the most important thing is making sure that you do keep um, going through the door. Because if you don't, those tools will keep raining down pretty bad. Okay, now you can see there's a bit of action going on here. And I just got done. So it's pretty hard. All right, so that's it. So that is gameplay for game A and game B for Helmet. Okay, so that is it. I guess um, if there's any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I apologize for not setting up that timer right. Uh, I know I wasted a bit of time setting up that alarm. But as always, just uh, when, you, when the alarm does go off, you have to press the time. So that's basically what I believe I was doing when I was... Uh, trying to get the alarm to go off so that's it so i guess um thank you once again for watching the next what i'll do is i'll put this down i'll put this down there and i will let you know that the next game we're going to be doing in the gold series will be the last one which will be over there called lion okay so that is it thank you once again for watching i've already said that um don't, f don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos on my channel and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and that is it so thank you for watching once again and i will look forward to seeing you guys uh hopefully in the next couple of videos that i make uh i'm not sure what they'll be but i hope you guys watch them soon thank you and have a good day bye